Now we get to talk about something really fun, like the pyramids in Antarctica. Why would there be a pyramid in Antarctica? I'm going to briefly explain Nikola Tesla's non-dispersive concept. Well, the UPS there. truck is here. That's exciting. That is almost so nice. I'm not even going to bother. I'm, I'm, I'm so stoked about the UPS truck being here that I'm even going to talk about that pyramid anymore because, frankly, uh, if it makes me want to... Uh... God, this guy drives me fucking googly bunkers. And secondly, oh, holy shit, what the fuck? Honestly, that's kind of a powerful purpose for the pyramids. <laughs> I thought you said, listen, buddy, you don't need any pyramids. I'm going to bludgeon myself over the head with this bottle so I can be thinking on the same level as you. It's less of a matter of did people reach Antarctica and more of a matter of if they did, they would have wanted nothing to do with it. It is a cold, barren, desolate place with almost no food. Antarctica is a terrible place. No human would want to live in Antarctica. Parts of the year, there's literally no sunlight. There's no wood. Like, there's just no reason to be there. God, why didn't they colonize the worst place on the planet? If they did, they didn't fucking stay there. So this theory is predicated on the fact that, God, ancient people were losers. Where the fuck is the evidence for that. And